Jarang nyila domo roka diasa. Boy, jangan sikit restoran. Saya nak kau beli nak dimbal. Nimba domo roka la jangan. Domo roka seniata, adiata, topo toro fana kenda ma biji. Luntan during, tamala, abeka domo roka jani. Adi manda wala de. Teka we biji le, anim fana kafa di jang ikono efa. Eka apa minat kau pastry anim bakery. Iko fana beka ni le. Badai lomba, conference lomba, workshop lomba, ye four fendi lom dunia kono. Domo ro better ma, ni lom international hotel ada number one. Aman ke bar domo la jang dama. Esa domo jang is ataria. Awo muku bandi. Ha, adu pan es afutan din. Eh, otu sa na kuo be musikas restoran. Dapa na jang na muiyat ni manje jerom bija. Aban. Musikas restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes, but don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Seaview Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium pilot, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 32592200. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties.
Kenya. Albaka. Albaka important. Yo, nga transfer la sto. Ya transfer la sto. Ha, code ni nje. Okay. For sana. Ni sila ID sto. Ha, sa sto. Sorry. Agada. Bijan bro. Albaka. Albaka. Bara la service o tariya. Ha, bare ki janan kunu mara tariya. Ha, jangno mi wana forest de biro. Gambia ton konna lo mbari a biro. Ha. Birim ko ena fo kato. Bari si kodo ki no kato ni fo bolong blabe. 56 branches mo la so da Gambia ja. Ha? Ka. Gambia kono ani Gambia e banta la bankol. Nko ko no ki a biro. Kodo si fa si fa fo palindiro fo nyadi la ta meme men na ko di topoto ni ko di maraw. Jannam number 1 di nyonta. An num fa na nata an order enterprise so tale. Wolam nyindi ko do morol fa nan ko fa nan be firale de dadi ma ni do morol ni fa ne beteat. Gambia daw da yalo ma fu fa kendol so tale di. Ha e wo moy o diat ha. A pelenta ma ka ka ni na lafta nyela kendol e binaji. Yalo bu kanila ko wala barka. Ha yalo del chosa no lo. Barka. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm in London that can help you with all aspects of your legal work. If you are looking at immigrating to the United Kingdom, Stewart and Co can help you to set up business, buy houses in the UK, and will deal with all your legal work from start to finish. For all your general immigration work, we can help you with that as well. If you apply for any form of visa, whether student visas, settlement visas, marriage visas or a child wanting to come to the United Kingdom to settle with the family, we can help you to achieve your goals. Stewart and Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm specialized. Good afternoon and welcome back um, from the lunch break. Uh, but before we continue, uh, there's an issue that came up uh, this morning, uh, front page article, and it's in the news here, <laughs> gaining some traction that we thought that we just need to clarify. And uh, I'll ask the lead counsel um, to take the floor and uh, provide those um, clarifications. Please go ahead, lead counsel. Um, um, thank you very much, Mr. Chair, for giving me the opportunity to deal with this. Uh, please indulge me to take off my mask. It's difficult speaking through it. Um, there is this article in the standard newspaper of today. Okay, uh, thank you very much for picking that up. Uh, we, uh, there is this article on the standard newspaper of, of today, uh, which uh, has its headlines as XNIA boss and co reject CRRC investigation, Inve in invitation rather. Walaupun enai elanya tungku nala mengodolu, ibalang telepurkan ay dan kutiar arsila. It also suggests within the article itself that the TRRC had invited certain enai of former enai officials who are held at the at the prison. Alun kaitu yang fana fuko TRRC modul fana lukuman dile menu nene tercium enai meni alang kau nyintem beng ibe mutu kono kasola. For, for them to come and testify in the public hearings of the TRRC. Uh, the Commission deems it necessary to clarify the issue. Uh, what happened is not exactly as described in the newspaper. Uh, let me make it very clear. There was never an invitation given to these former NIA officials to come and testify before the commission. Uh, in fact, the, TR, the TRRC hearings on the NIA has not yet commenced. Uh, no summons has been issued to anybody. Uh, 
no subpoena has also not been issued to anybody. And the safari man ke kafu imario ludiya kuya yene dangkuti ar arsila follow fanam man ke follow. Uh, it is true that there was contact between some TRRC officials and uh, former NIA officers, including the NIA boss, who are, who are detained at the Mile 2 prison. Tonya, nyo moyo ketale, TRRC la dokula lu dolu tema, ining TR, ining, 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 NIA la mo fololu, aning ila nyato nko ying, nyo moyo ketale nun komanto. But... That meeting uh, involved a conversation that was just made en passant. It was not the purpose of their visit to the Mile 2 prison. Uh, the TRRC officials that went to the prison on a different investigation. TRRC la do kula lu menu tata kasola wal tata kisi kisi rudole la je. Uh, they deemed it necessary to inform these former NIA officials that at the appropriate time, the TRRC officials may wish to speak with them about activities of the form of the NIA. Adun TRRC la umolu menu tata wakumbaboro la kaso la wairi tata kajudo le laje. Bari inata je kuto ni mfana manjau ya puruka ni kibaro diwo NIA mo fololu la kafu yangu ni awato sita asekelo diamo ya soto TRRC la bunda ni wo NIA la mo fololu tema. This was just their way of giving them heads up in informal notice that at some stage we would officially or formally like to talk to you. We must face the reality. Do not put your hands in the air. What if we start to lie? What if we are wrong? As if TRRC la mulu nali si nyoje no le kadia mu kulu la meni alongo wole mu kuku malti ila duko kono menketa u ena ila umu kuto luti menwe kasola ji. It is a mistake to interpret this as an invitation to testify. It is suggested in the newspaper that the TRRC invitation was rejected. This is not true. Uh, by the way, if the TRRC is investigating uh, the NIA, uh, the rules of the game require all former NIA officials or even serving NIA officials to cooperate with the investigation. Sarto Muniretiko. Isulata menula ininti ar ar sila mulu nyanta nyomu ila lefoka tabula NIA la mufululu meni ya longko ti ar ar si sola tapuri niye diam. So the T, the, these former NIA officials who are in detention. Watu NIA la nyi mufululu menu be mutu wako no bi. Are required by the law to cooperate with the TRRC. Lua ya nyi nafoko ininti ar ar sila sartu lu nyanta tala nyola li. And uh, the law has also put in place sanctions for failure to cooperate with the TRRC. But we haven't got to that stage yet. Because the TRRC has not requested any one of them to either testify or to give a statement. Adun TRRC manyin kaningulu momondi mbulu folo puru kana sede ya rola wala kakuma kangulu fintindi solo bemena. I will not rule out the possibility of that happening sometime in the future. Akate nyi mfono la kabaiko wanyo ote keno la nyatonto. Aseke wobe keno la le nyatonto. It just happens that we haven't arrived at that stage yet. But remember Kerry ngole mnintiko mamfuta wo tuku mtu folo. And there are two important things in this that I need to clarify. Uh, there are certain activities at the NIA that have crystallized in a case that is being tried in court. Uh, 
the TRRC would not investigate that particular issue or those particular issues. TRRC te wo kolu kisi kisi la menu lankele mata wo nya wo kiti bundal. However, there may be other issues that concern these persons who are currently being tried. And those issues are not the subject of the case they are being prosecuted for at the moment. But the TRRC may consider investigating those particular issues. And we could all know a cafotan as a TRRC, see we call the dollar no masata no lepurke kisikisi. And in that regard, the TRRC may at some stage want to speak to some of these NIA officials who are former NIA officials who are in detention. What do I can the co? Nyatonto, as a coco TRRC, the lafila lepurka dia mu molie, many along co, wolem NIA la mu docula, follow lutinu, member mutoko. But what is clear is that this would be two different things. The case that they are being prosecuted for and other cases that are not being prosecuted. And if we investigate the activities of these individuals, it would be for those activities that are not currently the subject of prosecution. Nin kisi kisro bekela, abekela nin neti ko, amanke kualuti be kitin di kam menu la bi, wulu bekela kudo leti menu nini kiti kual te kilindi. I have also noticed in the article that these NIA officials are concerned about saying things before this commission which may be used against them in their trial. Nin falam findi da kibaro nin kono ko, nin NIA do kulalu, Kolu bekeri ne meni ye ideun pru inyanta dia mula kolu menu la TRRC inyati limula. May I assure these individuals? Ako ababambandi la nyimu luma ko that there are sufficient safeguards in our system which would prevent that from happening. Sarto lu be keri ne TRRC la karola menu be itelu tankan dila wuku fasongo luma ning awato sita. And these safeguards are, one, the right against self-incrimination that is guaranteed by the Constitution. And the issue of use immunity that is contained in the TRRC rules of procedure. Si kuwa dolu kelo le kaulu bula Satara ite ulu noma satala Ila kuulu kono ning awato sita And it is precisely in respect of these safeguards in the law Adu tanka dalu menu belua nying kono dalilu le ya sabu That we are not investigating the case that is already in court Especially as it concerns those individuals who are being tried for those cases. Wa dalilo le ya sabu, TRRC te kisi kisiro bulandila wa kuolu noma ibe kitindi ka menu la bi, me ya lonko, wale keta da wundati nyi mwolie, me ya lonko iba adia mwonyi mkono. But for those cases that may in future be investigated by the by the TRRC as it concerns the NIA9. Between Kudol many along co men belarin follow menu mamma communicata in NIA mo colonel quality TRRC la Carola. Let me reassure you once again. Koteke abenim bambandile ya koteke si koteke that the right against self incrimination. Uh, is a right that is respected by the TRRC. And uh, we have included in our rules uh, the power of the Commission to grant use immunity to any individual who's been obliged 
to incriminate him or herself. Adu TRRC ni silo na abunda soto le fanang puru isikuo dolo tuje ke landi kara la ni mkuo luto many alongo TRRC se bulano ilo mabariko a sarto le TRRC kono isio kuo dolo tuno jele ni mul la kuokama. And finally, I would wish to inform uh, all and sundry. Uh, that the TRRC is here only to try to establish the truth about what has happened in the 22 years from uh, 1994. TRRC be Kanabula uh, 2016 uh, This is no witch hunt. It is also no politics. We are also not interested in duplicating the work that is being done by other branches of the government. Puruka sai do kubunda lusi no kang me ya longo mansakunda be do kule keka nyintembe. Like is expected by all Gambians. Ko Gambian ko lube be jikirina la nyameng. We do this work. Nika nyindo ko kenya nyalema. And in the process, do it fairly and respect all the rights that our constitution has given to every citizen of this country. Adunka tamandi nyame ngole kabunya bunda lube timandi ani nyanto lume ni alonko na banko la constitution wa yewle di banko dimulala ni mbanko kala. So I encourage the NIA 9 Adunka wabe nyi ndundi lao NIA 9 mokono nto lu ham mokono to respect the law prisi lua bunya uh, and to accord their cooperation to the TRRC if they are asked. Puru esi somfanang kakuolu tamandi nimmisali kama TRRC ye kaninkuolu menula. And if they are asked to provide information, it would be in their best interest to do so. Adu nin TRRC ye nyinim kakibaru menna wamu etelufongulula tankadale te puruka song kawo kibaru di. And when that time comes, I expect that they would act as good citizens and do what is required of them by the law. Adu nio wato sita mbe jikiri nko ibe malale kubanku di nkendolu ye kuolu tamandi koko banko lua ya kani nyame. It would also help that if matters like this come up, uh, uh, the efforts are made to get the right information before steps are taken to deal with this publicly. Adun ning awato sita nimbe ni nyalale puruka akwolu tamandi nyama men musiloti me yalonko na tata halfa futa tembela to janning akwini mbe lankeni mala jamanya tilimula. With that, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Lead Council Ayala Kumakano Jindijele Aye Chairman Numbara. Thank you, Lead Council, for those um, points of clarification. Uh, Council is the witness um, uh, in the booth um, for us to continue. Chairman, Commission Chairman, I Lead Council Numbara, I could be for Sedo Bijan and Apareta for Ndun Abetentenola. Sorry. Yeah, no, you were consulting. If we are ready. Yes, we are ready. Is the proceed. witness ready? Yes, Mr. Usher. Can the witness be placed in the witness box? Welcome back, Mr. Witness, from the lunch break. Council, ko ibisimila selo kabonang konton daha uchewala. Before the break, you told the commission about your admission to the said alternative program. Jan nimbita o konton daha la inyungfo komisongoye ila dunia o programo nyungkono. 
and how the treatment was administered on you and others. And in Atajara Rota Mandijan, it can a nimble you from Could you hear me? Sorry, Mr. Witness, can you hear me now? Sir, is it a council of Makamu? Yes, I hear you. Okay. And you also told the commission about the poor health condition that you suffered during the alternative treatment program. You have also testified that people died during the program. And that also some died after the program. You have also told the commission the effect that the announcement made by the president that he could treat HIV AIDS HIV AIDS jara nole had on the country and one of those effects was that the donors lost confidence and some of the support they provided was withdrawn Okay. At this point, Mr. Witness, can you tell the Commission the effect that the program had on you? Say, I for Commission, the program I mean, kuni mun kuli siete kuma ila hadamayato. I mun kuli andi na hadamayato. The hardships it cost me in my life. Uh, since I'm not living in my own house, rent. When I came out in the open and uh, declared my status, that brought a lot of hardships to me with regards. Uh, Renting a home. That was such that even if someone told me that there was an empty house in any particular place, when I get to that person, the owner of the place, Ella is a man or a woman. And and if I start to talk to them about uh, renting a, a, a house, telling them that I heard there's an empty space here, uh, usually the person will look me, look at me from my toes to the top of my head. Because I am HIV status alone. Uh, because they would have known my HIV status. And they do not know that even if someone who has HIV and lives in your compound, they cannot transmit that disease to you. So, come so that made it difficult for me to be able to rent a place because each time I want to secure a house, they will tell me that someone had just secured it uh, shortly before you arrived. What as atina fo nene kasangi tang anin kilinge nimba be livering bunkili ukolo shalo ni kabineto nimba mabe ukolo ntebela ni shalo. It got to a time that for 11 years I lived in the same uh, room with my mother. She was in the uh, bedroom and I was at the sitting room. For 2006, in 2006, I got uh, married, but we were sleeping uh, at the sitting room while my mother slept, slept in, uh, in the bedroom. I rented in many places, but those people gave me notices uh, of, to, to vacate uh, based on my HIV status. In fact, I got to KMC with others because they evicted me and I would not accept to live 
At one time, the KMC told me to stay until I secured a new accommodation for myself. But then I realized that if I did that, I would end up having a problem with them. So I left. So, uh, uh, so a place to live in, a residential place for me is a big problem. Yeah, because in the very long about my status. Because n almost everyone knows about my status. Some people say some negative things about me. But do finally come again the Jamal for me. Some do do said uh, some nice things about me. Because what should talk a television program on shot? Because there was a time when we had some television programs. And whilst the discussions were going on, usually we would open up the telephone line. There was one old woman in Serekunda, a Wolof speaker. She called to inform uh, us that she is constantly praying for us. She prayed for us until she completed. And then she revealed why she was praying to us for us like that. That I am the one who revealed these things in the Gambia here. But uh, they themselves had some of the relatives who had HIV, but they lived with them until they died, but they never revealed their status. And that was the reason why when I came out and uh, declared myself openly, she prayed to God for me. Uh, because I knew Jamadwanya Madurjele. Many of the things that she prayed for me, I have seen those. I do many tata HIV commemoration meeting with Dr. Fonyi Biam. I once went for an HIV commemoration in Fonyi Biam. After Kabrin Kachata Muli from Pareta. After I spoke to the people until I was done. I went outside and I was uh, smoking a cigarette. One uh, young one came. He said that he has come so that uh, I could pardon him. I said to him, well, I do not am I going to forgive you for? He said to me, forgive me first, and then I will tell you what happened. I forgave him, and then he told me that he and his companions, what they used to say about us, he said, especially, he said especially me, he said especially me, HIV program that I went abroad uh, to hustle but I did not succeed I did not get uh, anything so I returned back and I realized that there was money in HIV AIDS and so I took up uh, the task of uh, spearheading it they were saying so many things about me thank you Mr. Witness can you tell the commission the effect that the treatment had on you, on your health, and your status. Saying, ilafta, we are alafta council ko alafta. Yinyo for commission we. Yin jara roaming ibun ta kono. I mung kule sababu ita fanguma ila jata kende ala karola. I mean ila hadama ya moya kule la karola. Um, na jata kende ala karola. On the side of my health, kabrin yin discharge. After I was discharged, uh, July, August, September. July, August, and September. Uh, I used to experience some fevers during the evenings. Uh, 
So one time I said, since things are like this, let me go to the MRC and try to find out what is happening. When I go to the MRC, uh, MRC they told me that I, I began some uh, treatment there for some time. And then I left it for some time. And now I am back again to start the treatment again. Then they said they have to conscientize me. Because when you start the ARV for some time, and you stop it for some time, and then if you want to revert to using it again, there are complications. So Kamala is saying I'd here for about a week. So for that reason, they would oh, so Kabuoketa. They would adhere me for a week. So well, after, test kotake. after that I was tested again. Yeah, you could not have viral load kaftala kotake. And they saw that uh, my viral load was uh, increasing. So, that was when I started the treatment again with the MRC. Uh, 2007, 2007. September. In September. I for 2011. I started treatment with them up to 2011. And that was the time when the MRC took off their hands from the treatment of HIV completely. In other referred to our nearest treatment centers. And then we were referred to our nearest treatment centers. So in the, in the sound of Banjul, so IDC. I was transferred to Banjul at the IDC. That was where I was having my treatment. When I left that treatment, when I left his treatment and started the operation again, I did not experience any complications in terms of uh, sickness again. For Kanabila. Up till this day. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Witness. So you're telling this commission that the treatment, the alternative program treatment for the HIV AIDS of the then president had a negative impact on you. I want to say that the president of the commission is not President la alawo jara le programo me dunta kono amunta ay nasi kubale sabu itema biri dunta programo kono fo wato me botaje ha katuko wato muna yin admit wencho yes because at the time that i was admitted at wencho eh eh na kulia atatala fo ajita fo 24 kilo uh, my weight uh, went down up to 24 kilo if you would investigate, you'll find my file there. I weigh 24 kilo. When I realized that my weight was only 24 kilograms, I was uh, very sad. Yeah. And that the treatment had such a negative impact on you that your viral loads went up. Munda Wajaro, a Mantora Ko Sabu Hanfu Ayasa Bujankar Teso Mimbe Jato Kono, a Yirko La Fata Kendeke. Ha, Kendeke, Katuko, Yaitano Koni, ARV Buladron, Ila Ku and Kesu Yinka Wajabu Kule Kotek. Yes, because I was told that once you stop the ARV, your viral load increases. Nata Bulafu Karu or Mbukami. And I had stopped uh, taking it for six months. Oh, Yatina Kafuta Kotek. That was why. There was this increment. I think that was the reason, coupled with the um, herbs I used to drink from the president treatment, the sickness even worse. Mm. So that was the reason why after your discharge you had to go back to MRC to start taking the medication. Yes. Which is known as the ARVs. ARVs. Yes. Can you tell us the impact the treatment had on your family once you were admitted? Yes. 
It brought a lot of difficulties. If you're to come here and testify openly, my parents did not like it. They said because I came out in the open and I exposed myself and I did not benefit in any way from that action. Even my uncle uh, had this feeling that they even stigmatize him because of his needs, being myself, about this uh, affair. That was the reason why he doesn't want me to come here and uh, testify openly. Uh. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Witness. We've also received evidence before this commission that there were several batches that actually attended this program. Yes, that happened. Can you tell this commission how many batches you are aware of? Many batches of 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 when I was uh, taking part in the treatment before I was admitted at the hospital, uh, following the first batch, and the second, and the third, these were the ones I was aware of. These were the ones that found me at the treatment program when I was not yet taken ill. But the subsequent badges, they found me taking my treatment when I was admitted at the hospital. Therefore, I did not eventually get to know how many extra badges were added onto these three that I have mentioned. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Do you, know the, do you know the nationality of the um, people that were admitted into the program? For ah. yes. Gambia uh, Apart from the Gambia, Senegalese scheme, Guinea Natale, Guinea National Scheme, Guinea Conakrin Kol Natale, Guinea Conakrin National Scheme, uh, Serena. Australians and other strangers, foreigners. HIV president who had HIV and they had this belief and hope that the president could cure them. West Africa Maybe I wouldn't know, but I can say that many nationals of West Africa took part in the treatment program. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Out of all these people that you have stated, mm -hmm. that were admitted in the said alternative treatment program of Yaya Jame, mm -hmm. do you know of any one person that was cured by the said treatment? Mm -hmm. No, woman shot. There is none. Thank you. Were you cured by the treatment? Ninja, ning atadum ayete jara lebang. Nte fong. Myself? Aniko. Not at all. Katung kabimbota la jara loto. Because when I left his treatment program, well fong janim bedu na la jara loto na kuang kasi betembo munto ngalon. Well, before I got into his treatment program, I know the level of my the viral load I had. And after I left his treatment program, my viral load, I know also. Because MRC showed me all of it. That was why I returned back to taking Western medication. And when I started again, my viral load decreased. To the level where it was undetectable, 
when you reach that uh, status as undetectable, you can go ahead and get married. For more on the HIV, Shoto. Whether it is someone who has HIV. If that person also gets to that level. Even if this is someone who has not uh, got the HIV. Whether a man or a woman, if you are a man and you have HIV but you are able to suppress it to the level of un being undetectable, you can marry a woman who is uh, HIV negative. And uh, that will not. Uh, there will be no transmission of the, the, the virus to her. And you can have children, and these children will not be infected. And also, if we are married to someone who has HIV, and both of you attain this level that I just said, you could uh, uh, marry and not be able to uh, be able to transmit transfer transmit this disease to one another. And you could have children who would not be able to who would not have this virus. Today, praise be to God, that is a situation of many people in the Gambia here who are HIV positive. Before the coming of the medicine, people used to have children with HIV. But since we had the medication and uh, we were able to reach that level, we now have children who are born HIV free. And many of our people are, are on that status. Yeah. They have their children with them. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Witness. So you're telling this commission that if you abide by the rules of taking your ARVs, uh, and the advice of the expert doctors on HIV AIDS. HIV AIDS You can actually live with HIV comfortably. That is where it is. Don't you see I'm in that state? Kenya Sometimes if you look at me and you look at the physical outlook of my body, you think it's HIV, but it is not it. There are other difficulties that are on my head, especially in terms of earning and the family that I have, and how to get their sustenance on a monthly basis. These are the hardships that make me lose weight. Sometimes there are times when I uh, think about how to get fish money for the next day. Or sometimes how because what I earn partner because we are not in good terms with our partners. Because we drop out from the HIV program and the project. Because uh, we are dropped out of the HIV AIDS program and project. We are in As a result of that, we lost our earnings, which we used to have as a, as, as as partners. And other benefits like housing allowance, transport allowance and other benefits like housing and transport allowances, we lost out on this all. So what I used to have before, my housing allowance, my housing allowance, transport allowance, my transport allowance, if you put all of them together, the way that used to help me, I when I got out of the project, I lost all of that except the transport allowance which they used to refund me. And that is one thousand three hundred and eighty dollars. And I am renting. And I have a family. 
and I'm handing you over to the chair and the Sorry, Mr. Chair, just to inform the commissioners, I've been informed by QTV that there's an issue with the van and currently not recording or broadcasting the proceedings. Fine, but you've come to the end of your uh, exercise. So what we are going to do, but thank you again very much for uh, leading the witness. And the witness, thank you very much for coming to testify before the uh, commission. Chairman, I counsel Numbara for quota I have to find Numbara. I have to find Numbara. I have to find Numbara. I Sorry, Mr. Chair. My attention, yeah, go ahead, my attention has just been drawn to the fact that the witness is taking a five-minute technical break. He can't actually hear you right now. He's not in the witness box. And further, Mr. Chair, I've also been informed that the other media houses are actually recording and broadcasting. They are recording and broadcasting the other media houses. Splendid. Yo, between Council Gobari, I mean Kibaro Fanan Sotoko, Kibar Bunda Lul, Member Kekan, Iba Record Kan, Wolem Iba Takane, Adun, Iba Fintin de Kanafanan, Ila Radio Nila Television Bundalto. The witness back. The witness is back. Fine. Thank you very much again. If he didn't hear me say thank you to him. Witness, thank you very much for coming to testify before the commission. Mr. Chairman, ko sedo na ra imamu ilunguato ma bafle inumbara beseila kankote ke kafu inumbara ba ke iwa kiloni somen ke purkana sedo ya rola jambi. Commissioners, if you have any questions to ask the witness, please may proceed or indicate that. If not, uh, witness, if you have any concluding remarks, please go ahead and make them now. Chairman, your commission will be in Kafu. You move back on November 15th in Kala. But you must remain left in Kala. Kulula, you may not start. Saying, if you want to find any silo dealer, you must find any one who may be able to help to Kulu Kumfala Kumu and Novala Yamari be able to help to move from Gambia to Kuli. If you insist on that, you come on for saying. Tina, ah, ente, ente la Kulu Gambia market and Nani Odoronendi. The things, my things for the Gambia is just my intention. Because since I joined our association, monthly meeting we used to hold monthly meetings. Monthly meeting Those monthly meetings. I noticed that with each month you have uh, an increase in the membership. Uh, like uh, four to five people every month who like four to five people will join us each month where for people living with HIV at the time my association was the only one for people living with HIV uh, for now uh, uh, Number tata for 600 plus. Our number went up to 600 and so, more. So, when I uh, noticed that, I mean, uh, the documentary movie as the silence epidemic. Plus the documentary movie that we watch, the silent epidemic. Gambia no HIV be Gambia no lale agale Gambia 
I said it is better for me to come out and uh, reveal my status and uh, tell Gambians that Gambians have HIV AIDS and also that it is in the country. Katuna multar kafu kuno lumanta hanja ni Senegal HIV to Gambia jan. Because those those that I found in association, some of them never even travelled to Senegal. They were here in the Gambia, but yet still they got it. Anin kaje Gambia no found bolu keolu kasungutu futu sungutu muni alu itole loni keolu futu okono ika HIV soundi. I also saw that some Gambian men who would, would marry women, uh, women that uh, do not know any other man except them, but uh, the men will have HIV and they will transmit it to these young innocent girls. And also some of the foreigners who would come in with HIV. Well, I once had a discussion with some of them and they told me how they came here with the amount with some amount of money and how much they used to pay these young girls so that they would be able to transmit the disease to them. Yo, anin kebal hakilo la koni ala koni manturo jabi badi wulwani kan naisi kalam tandala. And also, following on what the, the elders used to say, that each time you see calamity approaching the relatives, is it is always good that you forewarn them. O kamala fana ngaje ko HIV mulfa Uganda nyamuna. So for that reason, since I have seen how HIV has uh, killed people in Uganda, uh, I said that then before that such a situation would happen here in the Gambia, let me uh, come out and uh, let people know and as, as such we can be able to access treatment. And uh, that was uh, what led to all of those things being able to happen here. Are we Gambia down alone? Any region alone or district alone or constituency alone? We take note of the people that come from it and the money they marry a shepherd and the money money alone HIV bela. And any district or, 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 or ward in this country, I stood there and uh, I talked to people about uh, this disease and this kind of assistance that is coming for people. HIV. In 2001, my in good intentions uh, made it such that in 2001, the HIV conference do attend America. I attended a HIV conference in America. New York. In New York, uh, or conference uh, I can file ongas. That conference they call it ongas. U N G A S S. U N G A S S. Well, Muntako United Nations General Assembly Secondary Session on HIV. That is United Nations General Assembly Secondary Session on HIV AIDS. No attended. I attended that. But we couldn't be there at all. But while I was there, left the castle. I wanted to stay. Puni in camera, me kole akumu kono biyo kana shoto. So that I could avoid the sort of hardships that I am facing today. Yo, barun hakilo na taka ita ni kuhan yekelo mungu kumazi gambia duni shila ni tuta jangu malibu kundi yela. But then my conscience said to me, you've started a, a, a crusade in the Gambia. If you were to, are to stay here, who is going to continue with this crusade? Kadun kabo 2000 kata for 2002 for three janin dol be found for lante damaro. From 2000 up to 2003, there was nobody who came out to uh, openly declare their status except me. So that good intention that I had for Gambia was what led me to return from America and not stay there. So that I could con continue the fight that I have started here. And also I had uh, belief in something. That the government too would be as our helpers. But the government did not back us on that. I also saw that in the national constitution, section 83, it showed that it showed that if you are able to show that kind of kindness, kindness to the Gambian people, oh, section 83, uh, 
honors and titles. That section 83 shows certain honors and titles. Itata in details I attend and awards to friends of the Gambia. It, if you go deeper, it will show you honors and titles to friends of the Gambia. I attend the Fonanko at least we know can the see for me Gambia or Yama. And it also revealed that such good people who were able to stand for the Gambia in that way. National Assembly subcommittee to Munyantaka President advice. Uh, it showed that there was a subcommittee of the National Assembly who would advise the president to be able to honor such good people and award for them. And to give them awards. I was not in the town at the time. Some people still call me honorable. Oh, I don't know title of story. And I realized that that title is appropriate for me. Because constitution for the Omosi Falu Nasiata Mulu. Because the constitution said that if there are uh, uh, an amount of them or uh, to five people, na na doata mo saba. Even uh, uh, minimum three people. And National Assembly and the President advised the Republican Women follow an Inke award. Then the National Assembly subcommittee should advise the President to award those people and honor them. I saw it here personally. The good intention I have this for this country up to the level of what it brought into this country. Because I think the Gambia project Sabasoto from the Global Fund. That made the Gambia to get three projects uh, from the Global Fund. HIV, HIV, Bela. What caused that is because of the HIV. Because if you have HIV, at that time there was no treatment for it. If your viral load increases to up to a level, it can cause TB or malaria for you. All that in globally, three diseases combined together. Uh, that's why globally they decided to combine these three things okay, so that they can fight these three diseases. Okay. If you look at things in the Gambia here today, there are certain vehicles they have labeling on them gold, called Global Fund, GFATM. They went up to a level of 100 vehicles plus. But me being the reason for the uh, uh, for those success, successes and my association Santa Yala. There's not even a single person among us, amongst us, who will say thanks to Allah. It is because of our stand that's what brought this uh, 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 process, progress for us. Especially myself who was the leader of the whole group. Because of that, and not only for that, uh, the work I was doing and the program, because global fund they used to look at countries who were doing things wrongly if you look at it the amount of money that came into the gambia for hiv is a lot but between uh, but things we are not uh, being done the way that uh, it was expected. And, so, and support and care for people living with HIV, mantra talking anyama. The care and support for people living with HIV and AIDS. It was not done in the right way. Why are you global fund for now? The funding system will change. That led to the global fund to change its funding system. Like about 2014-15. In 2014-15. Global fund, the funding system will change to bring in another new funding model. Like a new funding.
and Ikafu is having new funding model. And they introduced what they call the new funding model. We are in Gambia Commission a talata. And this meant that Gambia had less than it used to have before. We will come our partner the Malu Benta NAS CCM and Action Aid. For that reason, partners met NAS CCM and Action conflicts of interest will be far in global on HIV project What interest in the global fund of HIV AIDS? So when the amount of yeah, decide to send a drop because no many project as the partners now decided to drop Santa Yala because we we were in the project since a global fund around three on a second phase. It's second phase. So can have for around eight la first phase and in second phase. First and second phase. That was where the change. But uh, one of them, an insider, was uh, privy to their AO meeting and he came and informed And we said yes. He said to us, you are seated, but in fact you should be standing up. From the project as an SR. If you don't stand up, they will drop you from the project at that same moment, I told my colleagues, you sit down here and wait. I called my driver and told him, let us go straight to Action Aid. That directly to the Action Aid Director. We went direct to the Action Aid Director. Put it to the director that we have we have had a rumor and uh, tell him tell the person. In that case, this cannot be a discussion. The two of us will hold. Uh, please uh, bear with me. Let me call my deputy. Our deputy commander Nata. He called the, his deputy and he came. I repeated
Sekarang ni lah domo rokat dia set. Boy, jangan sikit restoran. Saya nak kau beli nina dimbal. Nimba domo rokat lah jangan. Domo rokat seni ata, adi ata, topo toro fanang kende ma bigi. Luntan during, tamala, abeka domo rokat jangan. Adi manda wala de. Teka we bigi le, anim fanang kafe di jang ikono efa. Eka apa mina kau pastry anim bakery. Iko fanam beka ni le, bade lomba, conference lomba, workshop lomba, ye four thousand ni lom dunia kono. Domoro better ma, ni lom international oti wada number one. Aman ke bade domo la jang dama. Esa domo jang is ataria. Awo muku bandi. Sain naku. Sain naku bandi. Eh, oto sain naku be musikas restaurant. Dapa nang jang namu yad ni manje jorom bija. Aban. Musikas restaurant, known for best quality food and customer satisfaction. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes, but don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. <laughs> 